Hello and welcome to Efficient Strategy Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Panzer Corps 2 on Generalismus mode and we are playing Barbarossa South and so this will be the invasion of Russia from the south and uh, basically we have Romania down here, Bresarabia. I believe that this territory in between these two rivers were was given up to the Soviet Union at some point in the war. Uh, the day is June 22nd, 1941. That's uh, the first day of Barbarossa. And we should have Kiev somewhere off in the distance. This is probably the Pripyat marshes up here to the north. And that's going to be the northern border of what we're dealing with here. And I believe it was von Kleist. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a panzer army that was to come from the north and to cut through these two uh, rivers here to drive to Odessa and to the coast and to Kiev. That was the battle plan. Uh, this could be the border of Hungary right here, and this was bypassed. And the Russians historically did not defend this very much. Uh, because they knew that an army could come around them. So there's no point in defending this border here if they can just get you from the back door on these planes with their panzers. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Romania should be on the other side of this river right here. Odessa, somewhere off in the distance, this looks like a piece of the, the Black Sea. Odessa over here. Kiev most likely over here someplace. All right. Let's start out here. I would like to take a look at this map and deal with the hard targets first. We revealed some, uh, some cavalry units there. There may be other um, forces, air forces, so I'm just going to wait for to see if anything else is revealed before I commit my fighters. I really want to get this air base here in this one. And then if there is any uh, fighters based in those two air bases, they have to spend next turn redeploying. So that would be quite good. It looks to me like uh, these guys need to be softened up more. And for whatever reason, these fighters are just sitting there. They're not defending. I'm not sure why that is. So I would like a mass attack here first. Doesn't look like we'll get it. Maybe because they're engineers? I'm not sure. over here okay so there's a fighter and attack bomber they're gonna have to redeploy next turn if I deploy that artillery over here this guy could come and get him um, the anti-tank gun probably can't make it out because he is these are threatened spaces but the anti-tank guns can move twice, I believe. Let's see if that's correct. Yep. So that's different than Panzer Corps 1. Is there anything else? I should probably go tappy-tap these guys a little bit and then recon forward a little bit.
If I put him in this position, they protect all these positions from a bomber attack. So I'm quite happy with these. All the fighters are low. They're not really going to be able to do much. But let's focus in right here. This looks like an overrun type situation for Von Doomkopf, but okay, that looks like it's a lot better. There must be it must be a close defense situation because they're in high ground or something like that. I'm not sure. Infantry performs quite well situationally in this game. I just think that Von Doomkopf is going to force a surrender here, so I, I'm going to go with him. Nice. And so he most likely has one more attack. I know someone's in low, so I don't think that that's a good idea to go. This probably will get the encirclement. This might cause a surrender here. No. Wow. Guy's tough. Okay, typically there's no one in open squares, so we're going to dive. Oh, two more. Touched up their artillery pretty well. Let's get these guys in flanking positions. Hmm. I don't know, I think that they're going to be attacking at a close defense, so Von Doomkopf is at risk there. They could also take this uh, back. But if they did that, then they'd be out of high ground, and that would actually be to my benefit. So if they want to take it, they can take it back. This guy is hanging out here a little bit, but if I, I don't want the infantry in the city to hit my tank so I'm not abutting them to the city and we've got so much else here to go to go with I think I'm more afraid of the tack bomber hitting like my tanks or something like that and we've revealed a few tanks over here oh this is just too juicy we can really get this artillery I would really like to do that That artillery is taken out of action. And then we're going to be playing a little bit of a prestige battle here with these attacks. The point of which being uh, it costs more prestige to replenish these tanks. And the tanks are really good and uh, can deal out a lot of damage. Just set these guys up. Not a well defended position here. Uh, the tanks, if I move this tank across, he would most certainly uh, be overrun. We 
can see right here, I would like to get a breakthrough here and then see what else they have. And it looks like this guy can just move around. But let's attack with this second artillery. All right, there we go. Okay, that drastically improves our situation. I'm not going to go around this way. I'm sure they've got some sort of defense over there. The only thing that would be better is if I could could have somehow backed up these guys with artillery. That would have been nice. Okay, so this guy can just rush way over here, which will, I will have him gladly do. Uh, and then we can make the breakthrough up here. These engineers will just be here to protect the artillery and not be on the river crossing to where they can really get hit hard. And I think that that's it. All right, we'll pass the turn. Okay, so my items to address here uh, on my initial build that I know a lot of people saw for my general a strength that I'm not using at all is flexible commander flexible command I think it's something like that and um, you could take a point out of that and I'm not sure what else you could put a point into but that is one update that I have for you guys that would be very helpful and sure enough, that infantry did take a lot of damage. They did no damage to Von Dumkoff, though, which is good. Okay, they've flown everything right here. I definitely need to hit this guy. For sure. And then I could do a dual maneuver here. We could take one of these fighters in the back, move him over to this airport. And then do you see here, he protects uh, the dive bomber. And he's moved up, so that helps us tremendously. I would like to get a fighter over by these tanks to, move, to mutually support each other. The fighter can take out that guy and also if I want a dive bomber to go ahead and attack this tank he's protected so you want to take a look and try to put yourself in those situations more often than not we're going to do the same over here And I wonder if this turn, the fighters are actually defending. It doesn't look like it. What I really need is this guy to be off of that point so that I can get a dive bomber in there. I mean, we could... Got two more dive bombers. Okay, one's going to go here and one's going to go on the city. That didn't really help too much. I'm hoping that this guy can get on the city. Perfect. Doesn't really suppress with the dive bombers, but it does do HP damage, which counts for a lot. Oh, they got a little tricky guy back here, too. Got to worry about him. Uh, the mountain cavalry here is more annoying than anything else. I don't know how effective they're going to be. Should have moved him up first. Wow, 
Wow. That's just not <laughs> that high ground, man. <laughs> Press him so he can't attack back. And the tank should be able to do a little cleanup job here. Overrun. Is this going to be an overrun? It is. So that's quite powerful. But as you know, I'm expecting another line of defense with tanks that will just come out of nowhere and cream me. This looks to be a pretty good situation over here. The engineers can't attack. Hmm. I think because I tried to come in. So if we get this guy out of the way, we can take the air base. Von Doomkopf can get all the way over there. Sounds like a good situation. Nice. Okay, the airbase is open. They're encircled. Could we just come in and just start creaming these guys? Looks like it. This is kind of aggressive for this guy, for Hunter. My precious Patreon tank. I would like these, all the tank forces, to meet up and eat this first. And let whatever is over here, you know, not not trigger any attacks from the other side of the map. He just needs to defend that. I don't need someone popping out of the fog of war, taking that, and then having to move my fighter all the way back. Uh, it's too critical. You know how aggressive I am in this game, but I've been burnt by that before, and it is really bad if you allow that to happen. So my instinct is to move him up. And I could, but he could also get us surrounded by like five tanks coming out of the fog of war. This is a very defensible position, however. Okay. That's a good attack, that's a bad attack. So we'll keep on suppressing this guy. So this is just kind of a back and forth uh, stagnant battle right there. Oh, they gave us the crossing. How kind of you. See how my tank stacks up. Let's get the Romanian dive bomber over there. It's not a dive bomber, a tactical bomber. 2020. Zero, zero. Okay, so we can do a surround. So he's encircled. Overrun. Do it. protecting the crossing.
Not sure if I really helped myself out there. These guys have not taken a lot of HP damage, which is good. You can see how devastating the effects of being on a bridge are. And I think that gives you a flavor for kind of what's happening here in the map. And um, yeah, we'll end the video here. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll see you on the next one.